and now let's try to tap on https amplifyabi.com slash profile here so this will open the profile screen and when you tap on back we got again to the dashboard here and when you specify amplifyabi.com forward slash here so this is the same forward slash which we have specified here and when you tap here so it will move to the home page here now and when you tap on profile it will move to the profile page so this is it it's regarding the implementation of app links in your flutter application so if you are watching this tutorial for the first time i also suggest you to go through these particular tutorials go through this particular playlist before getting started with this particular tutorial so that you will get a good idea like what is a flutter firebase dynamic links and what are the app links which are which we are going to implement in this part of this tutorial in this vlog we are going to see the implementation of app links in your flutter application so in our previous tutorials we have covered flutter firebase dynamic links and i've got few messages like firebase dynamic link is going to be deprecated soon we just wanted to implement the other way of making the dynamic link work in our flutter applications i'm going to make separate tutorial here on implementation of app links in your flutter application so now let's get started with this particular tutorial and before getting started i just want to to make sure few points so that so there is no urgency if you have already implemented firebase dynamic links here because from the official page here you can see like these particular dynamic links will be deprecated that is like on august 25th 2025 so approximately it's like two years down the line and you have got ample of time now so if you have already implemented dynamic links or if you are trying to add app links to your application then you have a lot of time watch this tutorial till the end and in this particular tutorial i'm going to explain you very clearly like how to implement app links which is the new way of implementing dynamic links in your flutter application so now let's get started with this particular tutorial and try to watch till the end of the tutorial so that you won't miss any concept so now let's get started <music> and for those who are not aware of what is a dynamic link and what is an app link i suggest you to go through this particular tutorials here so the playlist for this tutorial i am providing in the description section below a small overview i want to give you is like the dynamic links or app links are used to redirect the user to your application so for example you are having an application where you have got some offers or some products which you want your users to notice or you want it easier for your users to reach that particular page then we make use of these particular links and these links also improve the engagement of your application so this is a very important and crucial aspect for application nowadays so now let's try to implement them so now the first thing i'm going to do is like i'm going to make use of a go router plugin here so in our previous tutorials also i have tried to make use of this particular plugin and i feel this is a very much easier for beginners to get started with so let's try to add this particular uh, dependency now and also not only for beginners for also experienced professionals i find this particular dependency very much helpful and also you can just make it in your own way as well so here when i started typing go router here so here you can see i've got these suggestions coming up so it's again try to update to the latest version of android studio and update all your flutter sdks and all these things so that if you are not able to find these suggestions then you will be getting so now i'm trying to select go router here and for now i'm not going to specify any version and you can just add the version when you are trying to implement this particular tutorial in your application so now let's tap on pubget here this is the easiest way to add a dependency here so here you can see our dependency is now added and just close the readme file and also i am going to get the dependencies here and also i am going to remove all the code here and let's try to specify the code which is required for us here 
and let's start with void main and also i'm going to cover from the basics like i do in all tutorials here so let us try to specify my app here and try to specify a stateless widget here so this is again a basic default code which i have done and now let us try to implement the actual part of the tutorial here so here in the material app i am going to make use of router here so here we have added the router dependency right so let's make use of that here and why we are adding it here why we are specifying in this way like material app dot router so let's try to see so before adding any code here let's try to create a router we are going to create go router here so we are going to specify some routes here and if you are having multiple routes just specify them with the help of an array here go route and here you need to specify the path so just like our website i am going to specify the home page like a forward slash here that's all and if required you can just also specify like home here and this is again completely optional you can just specify according to your requirement and after specifying the path here i am going to specify the builder so here we are going to specify underscore here that that is we are not going to make use of these parameters and in scaffold we are going to specify an app bar so i think now you understood why we have specified material app dot router here because we want our router to be in the root level so when it is in the root level then it will be easier for us to navigate in between the screens and now we are going to specify an app bar here and why we are going to specify an app bar here just to differentiate between the screens here so i am just going to specify like home screen here or you can just specify dashboard if it is your first screen here and yeah i forgot like you need to enclose it within the text widget here that is what the error we were getting and also you can just make it constant here and now let's try to specify the second route here and i'm going to again specify like go route here and i'm going to specify here routes again and here let us try to specify our second route and again in the path this time i'm going to specify like profile and now we will be moving to a profile screen and in the builder i am just going to specify the same thing again scaffold and here we do have like app bar and here this time let us try to specify the name to be like profile so this is how we have specified two routes here make the change in android manifest file now so let's try to go through the manifest file in this particular directory here inside app source src here and inside src we have got like main directory and inside which we do have like android manifest file and here you need to select the main activity here so we do have main activity here and inside this main activity you need to specify the intent filter now so let's try to specify the intent filter and the first thing we are going to specify intent filter is like auto verify here so auto verify we are going to specify it to be true okay we have just specified android auto verify true here and then also you need to specify the metadata here so instead of a separate closing i've just tried to specify the start and close in the same tag here and let us specify android name here like flutter deep link and also specify the value to be true here and now let's try to add the action here so with the help of this particular action we are going to make our app i mean indexable in google here intent dot action dot view and now let's try to specify the category here and what does the category state here is like if nothing is specified then just try to open the main activity here so if no other intent filters are specified then try to open this particular main activity whenever there is any call for the app link category here we are going to specify it like default so when you specify default so whenever you are specifying default is like when nothing is specified in the intent filter in any other intent filter then make this particular main activity open up whenever there is any call for the app link here so in the same way let's try to specify the 
another category like browsable browsable so what does browsable do is like whenever you are trying to open a link in a web browser then it will make it clear for the web browser to navigate the app link to this particular application and here in this particular application in the sense like whenever you make an app link call so whenever you make a url call here and the url also we are going to specify in the intent filter now so whenever this particular url is called then through the browser then it will navigate to our application here and now let's try to specify the data schema here so let us try to specify the schema and again what is schema is like the protocol here like http or https and you can just specify them separately here so i'm going to specify both http and https here and also you can just try to specify the host link now let us try to specify it as well android host here and here i'm going to specify my website like amplifyabi.com and here you can add your website here so now here we have tried installing the application and also you can just notice i have just specified small v here so let's make it a capital v and also now let's try to see the output and here you can see we have got an error now so what does this error state is like router config is not equal to null is not true okay so we have not specified the router config here so let's try to specify the router config with the router which we have declared in our code and now let's try to rerun this particular code and here you can see like got exception okay fine and what this exception is saying like no routes for the location forward slash okay so here we have specified like forward slash and home so what it states like the first page should not have anything other than forward slash and let's try to save the code here and try to see the output and here you can see now we have got our dashboard appeared here and this is what our first screen and now let's try to go to the profile screen and how we can go to the profile screen and now gets and now comes the concept of app links here and let's try to open the messaging here so just for an example sake i am trying to do this and in the start chart let us try to specify some number here and we will try to send a text message like amplify a b so this is an emulator so we really can't send any uh, text message just for the sake of example here i just wanted to have a link here so when i tap on this particular link like amplifyabi.com forward slash here so this is our website and when i tap on this particular link now this will open up our application and no our application is not opened up instead our website is opened up in the browser so there is a validation which we are missing currently and this particular validation i will be showing you in the next tutorial but for now let's try to make the validation manually so here so here let's try to open by default here and here you can see we have got an option like add link so we are now trying to manually add a link here and here you can see we have got the website which we have specified in our manifest file so like amplifyapi.com and when i check it and try to tap on add here and now let's go back to uh, our browser here that is our messages here and try to open and now let's try to specify the link like https and amplifyabi.com here and also specify a forward slash and now let's tap on sms button and now let's try to tap on this particular link here and when you tap on this particular link you can clearly see like our application is now open and our dashboard page our dashboard page is now open so now let's try to test the profile page now so here you can clearly observe like we have got like two screens so this is not exactly the screen but we are just trying to rename the app bar title here to dashboard and profile just to make a differentiation uh, like when you have like when you are having really a two different screens like how 
it appears onto the screen so the same way we are trying to portray here so we have got like two routes now like for home and profile and also let's try to remove the forward slash here and also home from here so just forward slash for home screen and for profile screen we just specify profile here and now let's try to tap on https amplifyabi.com slash profile here so this will open the profile screen and when you tap on back we got again to the dashboard here and when you specify amplifyabi.com forward slash here so this is the same forward slash which we have specified here and when you tap here so it will move to the home page here now and when you tap on profile it will move to the profile page so this is it it's regarding the implementation of app links in your flutter application and if you are having any queries in this particular implementation i'm going to provide the complete code in the description section below and also do let me know your queries in the comment section below i have also specified the gorota gorota and flutter firebase dynamic link tutorial links also in description section below so just go through them and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter